everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today on Today Let's Build, I am showing you annular cutters, why you need them and how. These are annular cutters. They are designed to be used in a mag drill and or milling machine. This is what we'll be using to make them work. This is a Morse taper to a 3 quarter weld and shank adapter. This is a lubricant we will be using to cool the cutter. It is cutting wax and it works well with little mess. I bought these on Amazon. I am using a Jet 22 inch floor drill press. This machine works very well. I have new belts on this machine and I run them fairly tight to reduce chatter. Some of you will remember the fixture plate I made in a previous video. I will be using this hold down kit from Amazon to secure the material. I must emphasize how important it is to keep the material from moving as it can be very dangerous. To remove the chuck and the Morse taper connection, you must lower the spindle, rotate the spindle until you can see through the slot for the wedge. Insert the wedge, then relax the press up and this holds the wedge. I then tap with a brass hammer, lightly getting firmer until the taper releases. I then insert the new taper slash adapter and rotate until it indexes up into the machine. A few firm taps and the taper is set. I then choose my cutter, insert my center pin, and install into the machine. Note the two flats on the cutter that line up with the locking hardware. I then test run the machine to view straight tooling. You then reverse the process to return to the chuck. Remember to back the chuck jaws into the chuck to avoid damage. Here's my piece of 3 8 mild steel in the machine. The material must be secure of any movement. This is the RPM chart that I reference. I am using a 1 inch cutter on mild steel. The chart suggests 320 to 530 RPM. When using the cutting wax, I give it a twist to ensure all the flutes are full and have ample cooling. I keep steady pressure and don't break the chips unless I have to. This is to reduce cooling and hardening of the material when chipping. I add pressure at any time to your chip. This makes for messy, sharp, and unruly swirl. You should use all the proper equipment. Thank you. 
With little deburring for cleanup, this makes very clean, uniform, quickly made holes very hard for twist drills and hole saws to compete with. Now to order the adapter, you must identify the Morse taper that your machine has. Here is a chart I found online, and we will use it to identify the size. We will start with the first column, the large end. On the large end, I measure the largest point on the smooth machine surface. We see 945 thousandths of an inch. When we go back to the chart, we find the closest matching, 938 thousandths. Now the numbers will not be exact match, just the closest. We now go to the second column. That's the small end. We see 782 thousandths. We match that to the closest in the column of 778 thousandths, and it suits our first measurement and gives us a number three Morse taper. These were all found on Amazon and the brand I used was AccuSize. I decided not to put a link in the description so no one mistakenly orders the incorrect taper. I hope you have found this video informative and useful. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.